what up so you guys today i'm doing my perfume tray um it's been a minute since i filmed my last perfume tray but that's because i was trying to figure out a way to still incorporate this type of video on my channel but also focus more on my project use it up because i'm really serious about using up my items like that is what i want my main focus to be on and so i was like how can i incorporate you know doing my perfume tray and using my perfumes and switching out my perfumes and everything if i'm focusing so heavily on uh, particular body care and I have to stick with that body care in order to finish it off obviously so I was like hmm I have been neglecting my perfumes I haven't been touching them so how about I just do a perfume tray with fragrances that match with that particular body care so that I can one use my perfumes and rotate through them but also still use my body care obviously so um, this is the idea that I came up with this is the concept that I'm gonna be doing and I really feel like it's gonna work so if you guys are interested in seeing my perfume tray that's now going to include the body care that I'm gonna be using along with the perfumes then just keep on watching okay so let's start out with my first combo the one that I've actually been using here recently and it's almost gone so I definitely had to film this video so that I can show it to you guys so this is my coconut pineapple body care set you can see it's in my project use it up this is where my miss is well actually my miss is like down to here like I said it's almost gone and I wanted to hurry up and film this so that I can finish enjoying this fragrance but I'm gonna be using that with my alien goddess perfume by Mugler and you can see that this perfume is also almost gone so that's what I've been wearing with it but then I also want to add in my Escada Miami Blossom as well so even though I only have two uses well about two uses left of this body care I want to use one use with Alien Goddess and then the other use with Miami Blossom so that I can actually get some use on those perfumes. Miami Blossom has a little bit of a dent in it, but I want to make a bigger dent in it. I want to at least get it down to Escada. So I will go ahead and use it with Coconut Pineapple and make a nice dent in it. And Coconut Pineapple is just what it says. It's this very super sweet coconut milk drink scent with a nice, fresh, fruity, juicy pineapple. It's like a perfect, perfect mix. I have never smelled something more edible than that like it literally smells like the freshest best pina colada I'm talking about the ice has freshly been shaved the pineapple is super juicy like they just cut it open it's super right it has the sweetest taste ever like it's so good and then of course alien goddess is that coconut water bergamot vanilla scent is super pretty um nice and sweet very very tart in the beginning when you spray it um but then it dries down to a nice sweetness i feel like the tartness in the beginning definitely plays really really well with the sweetness of coconut pineapple and then for escada miami blossom y'all can see the little pineapple on the packaging um it's a pineapple cocktail drink scent so that one is a little bit more fruity um it has some nice florals in there to balance it out it's a very beautiful scent so all of these go together extremely well so that is going to be my combination until I finish coconut pineapple the next scent that I'm working on is my berry waffle cone and this is kind of like the scent that I wear at night you guys would have saw me do a nighttime shorts video with this scent and you can see this is where my line marking is but I'm a little bit down on it and then this is where my line marking is on the body cream but again I've used it so it's down further than that so I want to use berry waffle cone I love that scent it smells like yummy fruity berry cereal it's so good it's so sweet it's so yummy it's one of my favorite scents so I wanted to go ahead and start using that to get it finished and if you guys would have seen that shorts then you know that I paired it with Juicy Couture Sucre I'm starting to use this perfume a lot more now because they did bring it back so this perfume is available for purchase it's no longer discontinued so I want to use that perfume and just get some use on it since I know that I can repurchase it, but also I want to use up this little mini travel size spray of Jimmy Choo I Want You. My best friend came up with the combo of Berry Waffle Cone and Jimmy Choo I Want You a long time ago, and I have stuck with that combo ever since. I think it is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Something about the way that the peach plays off of the berry notes and Berry Waffle Cone, and then they both have that sweet vanilla that comes together and makes this like sweet fruity berry peachy fruity vanilla explosion is so yummy it's so good it's so decadent so i love that combination 
I will be using that until it's all gone. The next thing that I'm going to be using is Summer Melody. Like I talked about in my Project Use It Up, I put it in and then I never got around to it. But most definitely, I'm going to get around to this. As soon as Coconut Pineapple is done, this is going to be the next scent that I'm going to be using. Especially because I don't have much of this scent left. So I know it'll be easy for me to go through this. So y'all already know Summer Melody is Honeydew and Vanilla. Super candy-like, syrupy, sweet, refreshing perfect scent for summertime and i love mixing it with my mark jacobs perfect for whatever reason those scent notes play amazingly well together mark jacobs perfect is this almond sugary type of scent but it's still fresh at the same time like the name literally implies that it's a perfect scent to wear it's perfect for every day it's perfect for hot weather it's perfect for the summertime so it pairs amazingly well with summer melody so I do actually have the Marc Jacobs Perfect Perfume in a travel size, so I want to use that. And then y'all know I also have the Zara Dupe, which is Tropical Boost. I need to go ahead and put a nice little dent in this perfume, so I want to use that with Summer Melody. And then I also want to pull in the Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense, because this is quite literally just an intense version of um, Perfect. I feel like it has a lot more of that almond. It's a little bit more of a dry and dusty almond it's not as sugary sweet as the original perfect but it's still good and i still really really like it so i want to include that one because i don't wear that perfume often and while i have a body care set on the tray i might as well go ahead and use these perfumes that go perfectly with that body care so next i'm going to add on my victoria's secret mango temptation I brought this in because I just really want to use this one. Um, I want to enjoy this mango scent while I have it. In all honesty, I don't know yet if I'm going to go ahead and purchase um, Paco Rabanne's Fame to go with this fragrance or just leave it at what I already have. But I am itching to kind of have that fragrance again. Y'all know I had the travel size and I used it up. But Mango Temptation, this is such a good mango. It says Mango Nectar Hibiscus Flower. So basically, this is a syrupy floral mango scent. The floral has a nice balance to it. Um, so it keeps it from being like super super sugary mango sweet it really does have this really pretty spring summer hot weather delicate mango scent it's really really pretty so i love mango temptation and i love it with beyonce's heat kissed perfume this also has mango but it has some other like tropical exotic notes in there as well um and it just like smells amazingly good this also has some patchouli in the dry down so this kind of keeps the perfume more elevated so again it's not a syrupy sugary sweet mango and that's it so i love pairing it with mango temptation i feel like they were like made for each other so i definitely want to use that and then i also have this fresh sea salt mango body lotion this is older this is like a collection that came out when did this come out in 2018 and I did finish off the spray to this one, but I never finished off the lotion. So this one has Tahitian Manoi oil. Y'all know how I feel about Manoi oil, but the fragrance notes are fresh mango, sea salt breeze, sunkissed clementine, watery musk, orange blossom. This is a really nice beachy mango scent. Again, it's not super syrupy on the mango. It's more of like a beachy mango scent. So I want to use that as well. And then I'm going to be using it with, with my Olympia, the original perfume. Another one that I want to just get some use out of. I want to make sure that I'm using it. I want to make sure that I'm pairing it with something and layering it so that I can get some use on it. So my next fragrance that I ended up bringing in is Grapefruit Breeze. This is older as well. This collection is from 2018. I love this scent so, so much. Um, this was along the same lines of Grapefruit Frosé. That's what it reminds me of. This one is um, Pink Grapefruit, Ice Raspberries, and a Squeeze of Lime. So while this one isn't as sugary sweet as Grapefruit Frosé, it definitely is more of that like grapefruit sour tart but still fruity and sweet alcoholic drink type of scent so i love this so i'm gonna go ahead and add this off to the side i don't have any more room on my tray but this is going to be something that's on my tray something that i actually focus on and i'm going to be using that along with my valentino coral fantasy perfume and i love this one this one has that nice kiwi this one has that mandarin orange in the beginning it has some florals and it's just a watery fruity type of scent and surprisingly 
surprisingly it pairs really really nice with the grapefruit breeze because it's just like an easy watery fruity type of scent so i want to go ahead and get more use on this perfume i have a nice little dent in it already but i want to make sure that i use more of it and then also to go along with that set i want to get some use on my paris hilton dazzle fragrance now this is more of a champagne -y, cherry special occasion type of scent but I don't know what it is the tartness of this scent goes perfect with the tartness of grapefruit breeze it's like they balance each other out it's super pretty so since i know that this perfume goes really really well with this set i want to go ahead and use it while it's on here and then the very last set that i have this is going to include my cucumber melon fine fragrance mist so i'm bringing this in because i really want to enjoy cucumber melon like i have been talking about this scent and i just want to put it to use i want to wear it i want to enjoy it i want to feel nostalgic so i want to bring it in it's brand new as you guys can see and then i want to pair it with this avocado extract comforting radiant skin body butter so these two are going to be going together and then i'm also going to be pairing that with my aqua di gioia by giorgio armani this is the perfect nice fresh scent it starts out with that lemon it starts out with that mint it smells very clean it smells very crisp um it's a really nice fresh out of the shower scent you can use this in the daytime or at night if you had a really really long hard hot day this is a great scent to throw on after you get out of the shower all of these would be great to use after getting out of the shower whether it's in the morning time or at night so i really do want to use this set i want to get some use out of it i want to put these products to work and even though these are in my project use it up honestly you guys if i don't end up finishing every single thing like i always say and my project use it up i just want to make sure that i'm getting use on my items so that i can come back to them and hopefully finish them up eventually i want to make sure that i'm constantly rotating things in and out of my collection so that i have you know it's manageable and i have a hold on it so i will go ahead and add these products back here in the back but let me give you guys an overview of everything that i'm going to be using on my newly revamped perfume tray so this is everything you guys it is a little crowded but that's good that's gonna hold me accountable that's gonna make me use my things but this is everything that i'm going to be using pretty much for the rest of july and going into august um i have all the way until september 20th to use all of these things finish all the body care off and then even get maybe some of these perfumes out like maybe this one ounce of the um beyonce get out the travel sizes of course and then just make some huge huge dents on the actual perfumes so yeah wish me luck you guys i'm super excited to actually have my perfume tray like this and to rotate through my perfumes while also using up my body care super excited so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below letting me know if you enjoyed it if you're new thank you so much for watching you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace